back. Well, yeah, taking a look outside at the Walmart. People are getting outside today, kind of getting back to their normal daily activity, shopping around. Of course, some of us are already getting ready for back to school season. That's not too far away, unfortunately. You got to remember, yeah, it is the summer and it's starting to feel like the summer outside. 93 degrees was our high today. 76 was our low. Again, a couple degrees above average in both directions. Uh, we picked up a little bit of precipitation today. Not quite. This is a little bit of an error on our part. Uh, yeah, we're still under five inches above where we should be for this time of year. And we are just saturated um, as can be right now. 73 degrees for tonight's forecasted low. Partly cloudy skies. Those winds out of the south right around five miles per hour for your Wednesday. I think this says it all. Hot and steamy outside. Showers and thunderstorms still. This is portion. Uh, this is the remnant still of Barry. Or I should say the trail end of Barry that is uh, mainly affecting us up on off to the north. So we're not expecting anything here in Hattiesburg going to stay dry. And like I said yesterday, a little bit of a heat wave is starting to build in. So get ready for that. And those winds tomorrow, 5, 10 miles per hour out of the west southwest temperatures in the mid to lower 90s. And here we go. Yep, heat index values once again near that 105 degree mark. I'm sorry, I really don't like this. It, uh, I, I do not like reporting this because it's just not fun. I don't like going outside and 30 seconds later, your clothes are soaked because you sweat. Yeah, it's just bad all around. So if you don't have to get outside, don't worry about it. Also, because the heat index values are this high, uh, yeah, check in on your elderly neighbors. Make sure your AC is running properly. Now, if it's running 24 hours a day, there might be something wrong with it. might want to get checked out uh, because my parents actually had that issue yesterday. So. Be aware of that because we're getting to that again time of season where it's the later portion of the summer. We're going to stay hot for a while longer and unfortunately we have plenty of moisture that's going to make it very, very muggy outside as well. Overall, most of us have remained pretty clear today. We had some clouds and these were just very minuscule clouds across the viewing area. Some trying to pop up to our northwest. Overall, that shouldn't affect us too much. See an outflow boundary right here. There were some showers up in the northern half of the state. That's why some of those might try and move on in. Although by the time they do, we're not expecting too much in the way of rain. And these are still kind of getting the trail end of Barry. There's those kind of spotty showers overall. Not really talking too much. A lot of those are dissipating as they move on off to the east, getting a little bit of de desynchronization away from the line of showers. Thunderstorms. There is the remnants of Barry or what is really left of it. It's not much right now. And that high pressure building on in across the majority of the United States. And that's why we're talking. It's going to be hot for the next several days. Future radar keeps us pretty clear as we're going throughout the overnight hours. Maybe a few clouds popping up, but that is really about it later this week. We'll have a little bit of a better chance for showers and thunderstorms still overall hot across pretty much the entirety of the United States. And that's why we have a pretty good chance of being above average. So your weather brought to you by Richard Schwartz and Associates. We'll extend this on out. Temperatures in the mid 90s on into the weekend. And here come those chances for showers and thunderstorms back into the forecast as we get on into Saturday and Sunday.